All right, it is Thursday morning. I'm at Wild at Heart. Sorry, I'm making the phone fly everywhere. Uh, turns out that uh, Missy has grandbaby duties or grandmama duties with the grandbaby. So that just call that grand duties. <laughs> so she's elsewhere. Um, she has brought me some uh, some patients to work with. Um, I'm looking here at about six tortoises that need some work and maybe some of the stuff, but she hasn't told us what that is yet. Anyway, I am here early and there's some rain coming and I'm on a motorcycle. So I've just decided to solo it this afternoon and have a good time anyway. So that's what the lead in is going to look like and we'll get a few turtles done and uh, see how this works for the afternoon. We have a nice handsome male. This guy's really up in years. This guy could be in his 30s. Really cool. All right. Somewhere I have a hair causing me some problems in my nostrils. So if I start sneezing, it's the turtle's fault. Just, I'm allergic to turtle hair. <laughs> I have no idea what kind of tape this is, but this is, this is some sticky stuff. This guy's got elephantiasis of the foot. You can see the hole right there where the maggots come from or where it's coming from. Check around your head. It's all right. I'm not going to hurt you. All right. Thank you very much. That was not so bad. Whoa. Turns out that one of these years, I'd like to do a study on some of the parasites of this area, mainly the ones that inhabit these tortoises. There's a cuterebra like species. It gets in them and stays in them for a long time. <laughs> I told a told this story once to a client, and the client basically said, Well, I'm gonna try and grow some of these for you, Dr. Askew. So he went, got himself some uh, some meat, it was beef, and with that beef he set the maggots on it. And would tell me stories every week of these things tunneling through the rotten meat and smelling up his house and blah, 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 blah. Did this for a while. And then one day, he came to me with a tank. And in that tank was a bunch of the uh, um, nymphs, I believe you call them. Anyway, the uh, intermediate phase of the adult. Oh, hold on, buddy. I have to clean this till it bleeds, then I'm quitting. Anything back there? I don't see anything. Alright, so that's right now you just get a chance to move it. Anyway, these things turn into some uh oh some coprophagic or some weird kind of species of fly. When I uh, sent the adults to the lab here in Mississippi, they were quite surprised there was any kind of a parasite that did that to tortoises and did not think it was a problem. So I then sent them links to the same videos that you guys get to watch on the channel here about the uh, number of maggots, even the ones that, you know, made us name the maggot cam. And uh, they have been interested ever since. So I, uh, I've been trying to grow these things and fulfill conscious postulates 
so I can actually be, you know, have a chance of naming them or just doing something different. Um, I've always told my parents I don't want to breed. There'll be no children from these loins. So the least I could do is name a bug after him or a parasite. <laughs> Some parents might find that okay. I don't think mine have actually latched onto the idea yet. Um, so anyway, with that in mind, um, there was one more tortoise in here that had an eye problem. Where the hell is the eye problem? All right, hold on. Let me find the eye problem. Now, back to the, the, the bugs. Squirrel. Um, it turns out that uh, if I fulfill a conscious postulates, I can actually name the organism and get a chance to do some further research in this area. So we're in the process of writing up some grants. I have been trying to collect these, uh, these maggots over time, um, documenting them on video, just like we're doing now. Uh, somewhere in here is actually the ones that she's removed from this turtle's leg. So what'll happen, what'll happen then, it might be them on top of the container, actually. Let's see if I got me a present in here. No, this could be something very special. I should not open it. It might be a birthday present for somebody else. Anyway, um... We've been saving them. I've been raising them, and uh, and went to find out what they come up, come up, you know, turn into, and then we'll basically have them all checked out and speciated at the same time. And once we figure out that they are pretty much all the same species, then at that point in time, we'll actually take the next step, and we'll take some of these maggots. And sadly, we're gonna have to use some turtles, um, maybe even some dead turtles. I'm not sure how we're gonna make this work yet, but uh, put these maggots somewhere in a turtle and see if we can fulfill conscious postulates by. Repeating the life, the life cycle in a way that we can actually say it was the species. If we do, then we have a whole different species of this fly that's torturing tortoises in this area. So now that that's been said, you know, it, you know, it's just one of those things we have to work out step by step. So we're still at the point where we're trying to do good enough of these uh, adult flies to call them the same species. And then once that's done, we may end up doing some DNA tests and some conscious postulates. And then that'll be like, wow, really cool. We've actually done something really nice in the scientific world for these uh, these cute little turtles that we, we don't think so highly of um, as, a, as a society. Um, okay. That's enough ums. That's enough okays. That's enough uh, that being said. Later.